6,000 years before Jesus Christ turned water into wine, the early ancestors of the Algonquin First Nations would gather at the sacred site. They came to make offerings in order to appease the powerful spirits that they believe lurked in the murky depths of the great river below. Wuzzo Rock was and remains a spiritual place, a sacred place that was chosen by the ancestors of the First Nations as a site to leave painted images depicting their worldview. The, the, this site is the, one of the most impressive rock art sites in the Canadian Shield, actually. What lacks is the, the knowledge or awareness or the education that they don't understand the significance of what these paintings have. And it, it, it's a, a point in time, it's a page of history. It's, it's a link from our history till now. A message they, they, that they might have been bringing across, but you know, the people who've painted that might not realize that or not be aware of this, the significance of the, these paintings. So, and I said, we will come here, and if your doors are not open to us, we will wait one hour, one day, one month, one year, ten years. We said we will pile our boxes on the street if that's the case. The Kinnegan ZB Cultural Center unfortunately experienced uh, racism and uh, this virtually uh, shocked our community, saddened our community. They, they were very upset by this event. It, it really attacked our core beings in, in being First Nations people and Algonquin people. Um, and it proved that in fact people are still holding very negative beliefs against First Nations people. There's nothing wrong with being Algonquin. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. You know, you have tons of different nationalities here, tons of different nations here. And like, yes, we are First Nations, but we're also Canadians. And these decisions often, unfortunately, or overfortunately, are made by politicians who are truly ill-informed of the spiritual aspect, of the historical aspects, of First Nations issues, certainly along the Ottawa River, who we were as Anishinaabe, as a nation, how we occupy the territory, how we continue to occupy the territory, on the fact that we're, you know, unsurrendered, unseated, unconquered, we don't have a treaty. You know what would be cool if you could, like, film the entire cliff face and then go back and edit out all the graffiti <laughs> yeah. and emphasize just the original native designs. Visitors to such a site would pay respect to this kind of site as they pay respect to a, a church or a temple, synagogue, and so on. So it also became uh, uh, reclaiming, reclaiming who we were.